I just want to do a quick taste test. Oh God. It's actually not that disgusting, but I don't think I could use that. Hi everyone, I am Ricky Wang. I am a professional bartender and mixologist here in LA. So I've been bartending for over 10 years, ranging from sushi restaurants to nightclubs. So I've done the gamut. Today, my friends at Watcher have challenged me to make a one-of-a-kind drink with one special ingredient. Let's find out what that ingredient is and who gave it to me. <laughs> so I wouldn't say I feel confident, but I feel very excited to tackle on whatever is given to me. Oh my God. Okay, it's a letter from Ryan. Oh my gosh, it's a whole letter, look at this. Dear Ricky, welcome to the Watcher universe. We're so excited to finally have a real bartender in the fold. For today's challenge, I've been told to choose an ingredient I love that you will somehow turn into a miracle cocktail. And as much as I love you as a friend, I ain't about to make this easy. But fret not, cause you're Ricky fucking Wang. So I know you'll slay this. Or there will be a beautiful disaster happening in slow motion. Win win. Anywho, Today you'll be making, hold for effect, a cocktail out of, ah shit, the hold should have been here. Hot Cheetos! Godspeed, Spider-Man. Your friend, Ryan. <laughs> okay, Hot Cheetos. I love Hot Cheetos. I met Ryan through his beautiful fiance, Mari, who's one of my closest friends. And when he found out I was a bartender at parties, I would always be making random drinks for him. So um, we bonded over me making him cocktails. <laughs> so here we are now. I'm scared. I am nervous. I haven't had a Hot Cheeto in decades. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, I forgot how good Hot Cheetos were. For me, level three and a half on spice. There's a million things going through my head. This is a challenging ingredient, but we're gonna, we're gonna do, we're gonna do it. I hope. All right, first of all, F you Ryan. <laughs> Just kidding. I have to know, is there even cheese in Hot Cheetos? There's cornmeal, there, Oh, there's, there's cheddar cheese. Milk cheese, there's onion powder. I'm kind of stumped. Okay, cause here's the thing. There are spicy drinks. Spicy drinks are pretty uh, common, like a spicy margarita. To be honest, I'm not sure how cheese is going to play into it. And my thing is jalapenos, you could just like muddle, but you can't muddle hot. Cheetos. I mean, I guess you can, but it's gonna be dusty. I want this to still be a like $4 sign cocktail. That's my goal. <laughs> if I achieve it or not, is beyond me. <laughs> okay, my initial instinct, and this is going to be a cheat, is I want to crush the hot Cheetos to make a rim for the cocktail. That's a start. But I feel like that's cheating because it's like, how am I gonna incorporate it into the drink? I don't wanna take the easy way out. Here's also where it gets tricky. I don't want this drink to be a Hot Cheetos flavored drink. I want to counteract the spice with something refreshing. So I want to add like cucumber and watermelon. I wanna do a watermelon, a spicy watermelon margarita. But how am I gonna incorporate the Hot Cheetos in the, um, I've seen this technique before where they make like a ice, like a chili ice. Maybe I can make a hot Cheetos ice. Is that, does that sound wrong? I wanna incorporate some technique that I've seen really skilled bartenders use where people sous vide ingredients into their liquor. What if I sous vide hot Cheetos <laughs> into a tequila, made hot Cheetos ice in a watermelon margarita? Someone tell me to stop, because <laughs> this, this is crazy. I really want to use a sous vide, so I want to bring the sous vide. I am going to grab all the ingredients I need and some tools from home. All right, we are back and we have everything we need. 
The first step that I'm doing is the Fresno chili ice because that is going to take at least a couple hours to freeze. I traveled far and wide to find these Fresno chili peppers. They didn't have this anywhere. And I know this exists. So um, after my third store, we have some Fresno chili ice. So yay! They are a little spicier than jalapenos, but I wanted the ice to be red. Since it's hot Cheetos, I like a good theme. You know what I mean? Green ice, meh. Red ice, hot Cheetos. Also, Ryan likes spice. And since this drink is for him, I'm going to make it extra spicy. <laughs> I'm going to prepare two different ice options because I don't want to be screwed with a nasty ice in the end. The first one I am making Fresno chili, I am blending with water. And the second ice that I'm going to be doing is the Hot Cheetos Fresno chili ice. So I'm going to be blending these chilies with water and freezing them. This way your drink isn't too hot, It's you still get the essence of it. I wanna take about three, four peppers, depending on how big they are. Usually for ice, you want to use about like an eight to one ratio. As long as the color is right, I'm okay. <laughs> and we are going to blend. So, bon appetit. That's a beautiful color. I'm gonna give this a quick taste test, because I want this spicy for Ryan. I'm scared. Oh my God. Okay, that is, this is not for children. I mean, it wouldn't be anyway. <laughs> it's, it's actually really good. I think it's the perfect amount of spice because it's gonna be in the ice. So it's not like the drink is that spicy. I think that is beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to strain this out. <sighs> then we're gonna take this beautiful solution. Let me put this in a ice mold. Okay, so this is the first ice. For the second experimental ice, I'm gonna be blending the Fresno chili with hot Cheetos. I really don't know how I feel about cheese in a drink. You know, we're here to play. For you, Ryan. A sprinkle of hot Cheetos. Oh my, I don't know how you feel about this. <laughs> oh God. Ooh, the spice is like, when you cut an onion, but it's like the, the chili is killing me. Oh, it's actually, it doesn't smell that bad. This looks, this looks a little bit wrong, but. <laughs> this sounds crazy. I kind of want to add more hot Cheetos. It's not Cheeto-y enough. It's actually not that bad. It's actually kind of nice. It's like a hot Cheeto soup. Oh my God, it's not even straining. This is all for you, Ryan. We'll be able to tell the difference because one is cloudy and one is clear. All right, I wanna pop these in the freezer. Let's see which one I end up using. Fingers crossed, they're both good. I'm gonna be sous vide this. And the reason why is because if you put hot Cheetos in liquid, it's gonna take a couple days for it to properly infuse. You know, we're doing this today. So I'm gonna heat it up. I am going to use a very moderate temperature so it doesn't cook out the alcohol at 125 degrees. I like mid-level tequilas for cocktail making. You don't have to break the bank. Like we're not sipping this. This isn't like a super precious tequila. Add some hot Cheetos, cause you know. So the thing about sous vide is you don't want too much air bubbles in here. I don't know how tasty this looks right now, The hot Cheetos and cilantro is kind of nice. It's actually the tequila that's making me go. <laughs> oh, now I get the cheese. Okay. This is gonna be interesting. We're at 125 degrees and we're just going to leave that in. Some sous vide, you want it to be pulled to the bottom. This will still cook it the same. So we'll let this sit for about an hour and we're gonna come back to see how this tastes. I stopped halfway through. I just wanna do a quick taste test to make sure this is Drinkable. Give this a, oh God. I don't know if I like that. I wanna try this just a little bit first. It's just like watermelon juice. Oh God, what? Ooh. Ooh, something is off about that. The cilantro is a lot, but I think the big thing is the hot Cheetos flavor is very strong. It's like cheesy, I could taste the cheese. It's actually not that disgusting, 
but I don't think I could use that. Ah! Ryan is coming soon and I just got all this equipment. I need to come up with something fast. Wait, wait, I think, okay, 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 okay. So I'm thinking about, uh, so when I'm thinking about drops, I'm thinking about like a tincture. What if I made a hot Cheetos solution? So like this on a very mild level. Yeah, okay, so the benefit of a tincture is that you can control how flavorful you want it. It has the essence of whatever you're adding to it, but if it's a hot Cheetos tincture, then I can control how cheesy it tastes. We're starting from scratch, baby. Do you want this to be like equal part Cheetos, equal part vodka? So the key is a lot. I'm just gonna rest this here for an hour for it to properly infuse. And this time, I'm confident. So I think it's ready. This is a tincture of all tincture, my friends. Mmm, that just smells really nice. Ooh, this is a lot better than the other one. Brittany, can you come taste this? Whoa. <laughs> she said, whoa. Dinner, anyone? What a relief, because I was actually really nervous after I tasted the tequila infusion. Because the other one, I would not let my worst enemy drink that. We'll still see. But this is like, actually like this, so. Yay. So I did the very experimental parts first. This part, at least I know what a watermelon tastes like. Let's start juicing. Fresh fruit is always better. Like I swear people think my cocktails are amazing and half the time it's just because I'm using fresh lime juice. You never wanna use like pre-bottled, pre-whatever. You can, it doesn't taste the same. And once you have a really good drink, it's like you almost can't go back, you know what I mean? A fresh pressed watermelon juice for the win. Now we're gonna squeeze some lime juice. I mean. This margarita is gonna taste good. This is fresh squeeze, baby. While I'm here, I'm going to cut a lime wedge because this is how we're gonna get the hot Cheetos to stick on the glass later. You pre-slit it first, so it hangs on a glass. Okay, the last thing we need is to make the agave syrup. It's too thick and viscous, so I usually mix this with water. A three to two ratio. Beautiful. The last and final step we are going to do is to make our Hot Cheetos Limon Rin. Hot Cheetos Limon and I are best friends since I was 15. And now I'm gonna pulverize him, her, I'm sorry. Mm, 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 mm. We're going to take my wooden mallet, <laughs> because everyone has this at home, right? <laughs> and then I'm just gonna smash it. I feel like, <laughs> like, Yzma, it's like smash it with the hammer. Move aside to heen. Hot Cheetos rim. You want to get lime juice onto the part that you want to rim. Oh. Okay, it's not sticking. Does that look appetizing? <laughs> like, I don't hate this. Ryan won't know. He'll think this is intentional, which it is. We're you ready to make our drink. We have our ice ready, the Fresno ice and the hot Cheetos Fresno ice. Ryan's gonna be here soon, so I don't know if I can have time to make two versions. This is the Fresno ice. Oh, that looks pretty. Oh, the hot Cheetos is not that. Oh. This is not my finest moment, but I'm gonna have to lick these ice cubes. <laughs> they taste this. This, this is the chili ice first. Oh my gosh. Ooh, ooh that's, ooh, that's really nice. I mean, I kinda, I kinda like that. It, it's a nice mild taste. And here's a hot Cheetos, oh my gosh. What is he making me do? Ooh, hot Cheetos. Ooh, give me some hot Cheetos ice, baby. Let's make the drink. <laughs> it's really spicy. Let's make the drink. So first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna put the ice in the glass. I'm going to muddle a couple slices of cucumber. I'm gonna add some cilantro, one and a half ounce of tequila, just a half ounce of Cointreau. This is used in a classic margarita. And I usually like to do one-to-one -one watermelon to liquor. 
three quarter ounce of lime juice, half ounce of agave. So for sours, lemons are more tart than lime, but since lime is not as sour, you could add a little bit more lime. So that's what I did. Now we're adding the hot Cheetos tincture. I wanna add just a little bit first. If it needs more, I'm gonna give it more. I'm gonna shake this bad boy with ice. This is it. This is the moment of truth. I'm so scared. That's amazing. That's, that's amazing. There's a lot of flavors. You could taste the cilantro, you taste the watermelon, you taste the lime. My only thing is like, the hot Cheetos is not as prevalent, so I'm gonna add more tincture. See, this is the benefit of a tincture. You could always add more. Okay. Here we go. Oh my God, you can see the oils. No drink is complete without a garnish. Is it too red? Maybe I had a cucumber. Okay, one sec. I just wanna see what it looks like with green. One technique that you can do is called a swath, where you peel a cucumber, squiggle it, pierce it through. Is that cuter? Yeah, yeah, just, just this. We did it, we did it. I wanna taste this. I'm kind of proud, this is our baby. I, I think it's ready to go. Whatever Ryan thinks, I'm proud of myself. Let's get him in here and have him try his freaking hot Cheetos drink. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. Thank has you come, sir. for the time has coming come, sir. and giving me the worst challenge of my life. I <clears> suffered. <throat> oh yes, I've brought Mari along because you guys are pals. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a more. What in the? Okay, well, as you know, Ricky, Mari was the one who turned our attention over to your mixology talents. I will say, I challenged you because you're my friend and I know only people can grow when they're challenged and that's what friends do. Where's your where bandana? I brought it with me. I didn't know if it clashed too much. I'm gonna wear the bandana for the next. No, no, you oh. guys, it's a signature thing. It's a showstopper. Yeah. Are you drunk now? Um, <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I have finally finished the drink that we have named the Flamin' Hot Bergara. Oh. That's good. She's great. He knows his audience. Are you trying to kiss up to me right now? You know, I'm kissing up both of you because she's the soon to be Flamin' Hot Bergara. You're soon to be Flamin' Hot Bergara. <laughs> Nobody this call me that. Nobody call me that. Flamin' Hot Bergara. I, at the end of the day, made a watermelon spicy margarita, but it's got nuances of hot Cheetos sprinkled here and there and everywhere. Okay. Should we just dig into this? Who wants to go first? Ryan, All right. you can go first. Shake it to me, Ricky. Let's Shake it to me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, that's so good. That's fantastic. Really? Really? It's really good. Really? It's bizarre because it very much does taste like hot Cheetos. Plus they brought a couple of their pals. It's kind of Bloody Mary in that sense where there's a savory yes. aspect to it, but it's also spicy. Is it more Bloody Mary than margarita? It's hot Cheetos. I don't know how else to explain it. I mean- Not what I asked. I think it is great. I'm a big hot Cheetos guy. I love hot Cheetos. The uh, rim is hot Cheetos limon. Whoa. Really? To me it tastes like a, like a spicy margarita, but it also has like some nostalgia. It has a kick. Mm -hmm. It just hit it's my spicy. throat. It's spicy and like refreshing. I added the cucumber and watermelon, so it counteracts the spice. So it's I like. I see. I'm confident that if that was served at a bar, it would hit. be the number one drink there. I like that when the ice melts, the drink gets stronger. That's right. And the flavor. I juiced that and froze that. Okay, That's we amazing. get it. <laughs> we got it, you're talented. Because it was just so <laughs> okay. crazy. I, I honestly didn't think this would be a, a good drink, but this is hot Cheetos is in amazing. liquid form, but better. Yeah, it really is amazing. I was not expecting it to be that good. If I order this on the menu and I get this, I'm gonna shake the waiter's hand and say, I need to go talk to the chef, or I what need are you, to What are you, Paul Hollywood? Who shakes someone's hand? Me. <laughs> Hold on, let me just make sure. Do I get the handshake? Underlayers are really good. Oh, that's good. I doubted myself so much in the process, especially really? after making this. Ugh. Yeah, put that down. <laughs> I was like, I'm never gonna work at a bar again in this town. No. But this one was worth a shot. It Bravo, you know what? Thank you. You guys, no. 
Well, thank you so much. We will see you next time when I make another crazy cocktail. Are the folks at home gonna be able to make this drink as well? Yeah, um, we're gonna post the recipe below. All you need is um, a few hours of your time, a wooden mallet, a sous vide machine, <laughs> an immersion blender, Ricky like confidence. In a hot in a hot tub. <laughs> in a hot tub. What else Especially do you need? a mini hot tub. A kayak. As you've seen. But it's worth the shot. It's worth the shot. But it's worth the shot. No. no. You got there, I think, in the end. <laughs>